Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Guess what? Just bought another storage unit. Pretty excited about this one. This one looked like it had a lot of sports memorabilia and different things. Um, so, I don't know, let's open the door and see what's in here. It's a little bitty 5x8, I believe. 5x8, 5x10. So, from 5 the door, what I could see that really caught my eye was the video games. And I was hoping if there's video games, hopefully there's a system. So let me throw you guys up on my head really quick. And we'll check those out briefly. There's some weights down there. But let's open this up, see if the games are in here. Call of Duty, in there. Watch Dogs, in there. That's in there. I just want to open up a few of these. I've got a good indication now that they're probably all in there. Tiger Woods in there, Call of Duty in there, but it's kind of hot. So what we're going to do is I'm going to load most of the stuff up, just load it up into the truck. I got my dad here with me and where's the other guy, the, the other sidekick. So we're going to load boxes up and I'm just going to go through it all at the house. And then we get home, I'll, I'll show you guys. But I mean, from what I can see from here, here's a um, ugh, Tom Brady. Let's go through one box real quick while we're while we're here. DVDs. Some more DVDs. So those will go quick. Um, I don't know. This ought to be pretty fun. If I see anything else kind of while I'm going through it, I'll I'll show you guys. What is these? Oh wow. These are some huge pictures. All right, let me get into this. Check this out. Pretty excited about this. These are my personal sunglasses, but there is one, two, three tablets, some really nice watches, um, some more stuff in here. There's like a camcorder. Hey guys. Hold on, get back out there, but let's go get some more. We got my dad in here. We haven't really went through half of this stuff in here. But show you some of the things that we've came across. Really nice fireplace um, guard, I guess. There's a couple of tables, a lot of sports um, equipment. It's a nice chair, DVD rack, lamp that's missing the other thing. This right here is a NFL shirt. Shirt. Yep, it's a like a NFL fleece. I think yeah. it's NFL. I'm not sure what that is but we do have another shelf here some more miscellaneous boxes and look at this picture that sucker's really cool pretty sure those are world series rings right and then i'm not sure what else is back there's a vacuum looks like some kitchenware something in there for a Jordans or yeah Jordans so doing pretty good so far well here's our load so far we're about to strap everything down tie it all down with the rope and then like I said when we get home we're gonna go through things in more detail um, this was on the ground like one of those little I'm not sure if it's a Fitbit or not. It's a possibility. But luckily there wasn't that much stuff in here. And we were able to get it all in one truckload. So pretty awesome. Well, back home. Check this the sign out i don't know what the heck i'm gonna do with that hopefully there's some tennessee fans that are local um this is tennessee baseball actually it's upside down it looks like it has four championship rings on the front of it i don't know but there's some really good gloves in here it looks like a uh, first baseman's maybe a catcher's mitt yeah this is catcher's mitt but wilson it's in really good shape there's that there's another one here this is also another Wilson. This is also in good shape. It's worn, it's used, but it's in good condition. 
here's another this one actually is the first base first base mitt and this is e maybe easton yep easton there's some house wear type stuff in here lots of it actually we'll go through all that stuff momentarily whole uh what is that 360 piece cutlery set those are brand new there's some towels inside this basket <laughs> lucas said they were his towels um let me move this over there's a bunch of these which these always come in handy you freeze them and you put them in your lunchbox but in the bottom here let's go through this real quick there's a bunch of tapes and we'll go through all this stuff oh, that I already got already out. We'll go through those. I see some people's um, videos where they have said that some of these cassette tapes can be quite valuable. Doubt any of these are. I'll, I'll, I'll look through them and if there's any of them that are like super special, I'll definitely let you know. over here check the check all this out you've got one of these 12 kilogram here's a four kilogram another four kilogram these should be in pounds 10 pounds here another 10 pound don't know how many pounds this one is oh 10 or wait yeah it's 10 some more tins 12 here's the, the lock that was cut and then here's all the games and every one of them was in there there's some halo games lots of sports titles um three xbox one games so far i have not found the system but i haven't went through very much of this stuff so a lot of video games Maybe three to five bucks a piece. Two, three, four, five. We'll There's like 25 or so I'd say there. So maybe 60 to $75 worth of video games. These should all sell for around a hundred bucks. Um, I don't know what I could get for a sign like that. Um, a few things like this. This is like an arrow or a tree maybe. Those will probably sell pretty well. Oh, what is this? Oh, like little shot glass. Oh, it's candles. <laughs> Those smell really, <laughs> really good. Okay, got the candles out of the way. <laughs> Here's a bunch of DVDs we'll have to go through. Oh, that's a good movie, Donnie Darko. I think these are all in there. Taken's a good one. This is, a, is this a Lukey pile? Grinch movie. What's up, buddy? Just going through a couple of these boxes. Uncle Buck, The Grudge, Spider Man, um, Hot Tub Time Machine, Lord of War. It's all some decent titles. So. But we're gonna be done. I'm not gonna go through much more here tonight. Um, work on this stuff tomorrow, I guess. I'm just, just kind of tired. I was just looking through a couple of these boxes real quick. Anything in there? That's yeah, an empty box of light bulbs. <laughs> That's no bueno. So yeah, this looks like kitchen stuff maybe what is this household type stuff home is where the heart is that's actually kind of cool but like i said we'll go through the rest of this stuff tomorrow yeah look it's all brand new we want to buy those for a while i know we use these when we eat dinner and stuff so we don't have to wash dishes hey, some yeah lukey claimed Lukey claimed those towels. So. Well, he said he wanted a white towel last night. For some reason, I don't know why. Some trash bags. Okay. 
So running out of daylight, I went ahead and decided to go through a couple of the boxes. The first one had just kit like kitchen bathroom chemicals and a little trash can and it also had this which is kind of cool these are these are pretty handy you hang these up on your wall Let's see if there's a picture of how they have it nope but you hang this on the wall and you put a battery in it and then you put these canisters in it this and then it just kind of sprays at random Helps with keeping the house smelling fresh. Inside here, this is another one. Mostly just pots and pans, but they look like they're in good shape. The bottoms are not all scratched off of them. Looks like a crock pot. Part of a blender. Some cookie sheets and uh, casserole dishes and looks like probably like a George Foreman type grill. So not spectacular, but not bad. Definitely some yard sale material, flea market type stuff. I want to get to that tote right there. Cause that's the one that I saw that had clothing in it. And this unit claimed to have sports jerseys. So let's find out if this is where they're at. First off is a Verizon, like a bandana. Mm. The Eagles, I'm not sure which Eagles team this is. Definitely well worn. This is a nice one. This is also a Tennessee hat. This is a really nice hat. And it's actually in pretty good shape. Um, here's a Tennessee hat. Adidas. New with tag. That's good. And then of course another Tennessee hat. Definitely whoever had this stuff was a Tennessee fan. Here's some more Tennessee hats. And they're in good condition too. Most of them are. New with tags. Some of them are a little more worn than the others. Some baseball pants that are destroyed. Aww. So garbage. Let's see what those are. Tennessee. Yeah, there's a lot of Tennessee. Yeah, I'm noticing there's a lot of Tennessee stuff. Yep, here's an Adidas Tennessee. This is, yep, there's the, these are the pants. Oh, so it's like a tracksuit? Mm -hmm. Tennessee. These people must want the Tennessee. This is nice. This is a, like a, like a track jacket, I guess, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. If any of you guys are Tennessee fans or from Tennessee that want to buy any of this stuff from us. Oh, here we go. Tennessee. It's a jersey though. Um, another handkerchief, Southern Comfort. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite drinks. What's this way? Some pants, I guess. Yeah, oh, this is like a, a nice Adidas fleece. I wonder what deal on Poshmark. I don't know. But all these hats will go good up on Poshmark. Here's some shorts. Tennessee. Hmm. Some more hats. Like Another it. nice hat. We'll use some different colors. Get your mind right, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on, big guy. Hold on. Okay. Here's just a plain, uh, plain hat. Plain black one. Still good. Tennessee. So definitely not seeing any jerseys in here, unfortunately. So this is some nice stuff, but yeah. wow, more? that's a really good, a nice shirt. Is there more bags of clothes? My dad said there was, but I'm not sure if there was. All this stuff is Tennessee. If any of you guys, like I said, like Tennessee or into Tennessee or from Tennessee, 
Clama Clamolite. Let me show you what this does. Let me show you what this does, Mama. But if there's any sports jerseys, we'll definitely let you know. But it looks like all just uh, Tennessee Tennessee wear. Lots of lots of hats. Nice hats though too. Here's a basketball jersey, but it's also it's Tennessee. This truck can open. It can open, huh? It's another bandana. Yeah, no more, no jerseys. Not in this one, at least. No actual jerseys. You got stuff like this. This is like a Those golf shirts. Golfy type shirts, yeah. But they're all Adidas. They're good stuff. Mm -hmm. They're the climb mate. Mm -hmm. So we'll throw all this stuff back in here and. Here's half of a shirt. <laughs> they probably just wanted that part. It's a vintage shirt, 1893. Since. You know, that's an old one. It's a really old shirt. That's why only half of it's on there. Mm, sure. So back in the early, sure. late 1800s. <laughs> probably losing daylight with you guys by now. This is a, like a curtain rod. I'm gonna get to this last tote right here without opening my tailgate. Just bedding. Uh, just throw it over here. Almost looks like a body. Oh, here's yep. Here's some more bedding. So. Oh, this is the one that had that shoe in it. But look, there's only one of these. That's kind of disappointing. I don't know. Yeah, we're running out of daylight now, so. All right, so we're about to go finish going through the rest of this truck. Here's that DVD shelf. We're gonna go ahead and save that, use it at the yard sale, stack the DVDs and movies in it, or DVDs and video games in it, and just sell them like that. Got a really nice uh, fireplace, like um, you put it in front of your fireplace. Yeah, screen, thanks, Lauren. Over here, there's a little, pretty nice chair, fold-up chair, and I'm pretty sure that's like a, a pull-up bar. Inside here was a all the pieces to the clothing rack. There's st I'm still finding finding pieces some more linens and this is a brand curtain. pillowcase or a laundry yes yeah, a pillowcase curtain. A curtain um inside this little thing was a puzzle tiger puzzle and then there's right here was five deluxe puzzles five and one what are these oh that's to make like the heat control window film hey that's not bad we could actually use that here around the house it's like a window tent like what's yeah. in the kitchen so there's two of those. That's good. We'll take that. Could definitely, definitely use that. Um, uh oh. Some more of that rack. Here's a leg brace. And I'm just throwing this in here. That is a trash can, but I'm just throwing it in there just to kind of keep it keep it separated. This is a uh, uh, rod for like a closet. Brand new. Here's all the shoes. This is the one that I was excited about in the unit because I saw these, but there's only one. There's not the other one's not in here, of course. Well, yeah, they're, these are Jordans, and then these are really worn. These have been well used. These are really nice dress shoes right here, though. These are still in like really good shape. Todd Welsh. I'm not sure. I had to look them up. Some dirty towels, though. So there's that. All right, here we got some real nice, uh, yeah, yard sale like pictures. Look at that one. Matches that sign that we just gave Dylan. Any of this stuff? You want to keep it instead of yard sale in it? Let's see what this one is. That's kind of cool. That's well, it's in the sun. Here's another one. Same thing. Here is a. Probably somebody did this theirself. 
There's another one. Another vase, matching vase or uh, vase? candle holders. Is that what those are? Yeah, you put a candle on top. And then they, some more of these fell out of our. Oh, that's cool. Pretty nice. We did pretty decent selling those uh, clocks, clocks last time at the yard yeah. sale. Um, what else do we got back here? Okay, Somebody did a, another painting. It's actually pretty it's cool. An elephant. It's actually not bad. What if I put that on with Lucas's other elephant? Yeah, the color scheme's a little different, but that's all right. And then these match that first one that we grabbed. Yeah. There's that. There's the hat. same exact one. So here's that. This one I'm pretty sure is a um, another kitchen box. Let's look at it. We got another box back there, and I think they were all kitchen stuff. I'm wondering if this is somebody's dorm or apartment. It's a possibility. Yeah, just some tableware, some, some decent some pots and pans. You have one exactly like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just some pots and pans and stuff. Ugh. That's been used quite a bit. It's a ninja. It's a ninja though. Thing. We'll go through it. Here is a pretty cool little find. Um, that's a uh, chest plate for a catcher. Here's the uh, the shin guards, the mask, the glove. So what? We'll this is actually this ain't the catcher's mitt. This is another glove. This is the fourth one. So, and some more weights. These are 20 pounders. We got quite a bit of weights. Um, I think these ought to do pretty good at a yard sale. In theory, anyway. What else we got over here? We'll use this to uh, put this shelf in. This right here was that black shelf that was in the beginning of the uh, video when we op very first opened the unit. And then here's this lamp. Oh, that lamp. Lamp's okay, but it's missing one of the shades, so it's virtually useless. Nobody's okay. gonna want it. All right, here's another box here. Of course, I don't have a cutter on me. Going to cut. What's wrong? Okay, this probably plates. Pots and plates. And, oh, hold mm. on, no. That's a lantern. Is it? No, it's a candle. Thing. Oh, oh that pretty. is really nice. That is pretty. It's like a lantern. Well, let's see what else is in here then. Here, it's a big old bowl. It's got to sit on something, probably. Here is a. A, like a mason jar thing. We'll save this paper. Here's the top to your thing, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. no. Well, hopefully whatever it is is not what that thing I just touched goes to. Broken? No, but it wasn't really anything worth it. Okay. Here. You got the trash. Well it's over there. Just set it to the side for right now. Here's a thing. Oh, <coughs> oh, take that piece. Disposing of this, it broke. Pretty cute little bowl though. And then this was the other piece of uh, that other thing that Lauren found that was broken. Hey, where's the rest of those little ball thingies I gave you? They're in there. You want them? Yeah. There's another I candle. Not have to do now. There. This is kind of kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. If you'll uh, wrap There's that stuff. Uh, oh yeah. Well, it's the same as this. It's this one. Yeah, it's the same exact one as that one. That's for all that potpourri probably was at. No, so, potpourri was in this. Oh. So <laughs> cleaning. All right. Next box looks like bathroomy type stuff. Hi. Ah. Here. Sorry about that. Phone was ringing. Here's a cool nightlight. That's cool. Um, it's a, yeah. a big old mirror. 
some of the stuff's just gonna be trash, but we'll go through it. It's another, like a napkin or a, a towel, towel holder. holder yeah. There's just a lot of lotions and we'll look in there to make sure there's no like perfumes. Hey, look, <laughs> that, that's a full can of Lysol. It's, uh, I don't know where the rest of them are. Actually, it might all be there. Band-aid and stuff. Eh, nothing else real exciting, it don't look like. Want some new soap? What is that? Oh, uh, just a tag for something they bought. Razor. Okay. Okay, these are those candles we showed y'all yesterday that smell really crazy. Here is that same picture and then that Tom Brady picture. There's a couple more pictures somewhere. While Lauren goes through that, yeah, but there's, I think there's another box in here. Okay, here's one of the boxes I was excited to go through. Right here. I'm a big sports fan. I love sports of any kind. Here we have a Jeff Brown football plaque. I'm actually going to go on that other side because the sun's right here. And I don't want it to be a lot of overexposure. Here we go. This ought to be a lot better. I also found this old camcorder. I don't know if I showed you guys that or not. Okay. Here is a picture of... I'm not sure who that is. Malcolm X. Malcolm X? Is that what it says? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> old football picture. These are super cool. The old black and white. Here's baseball. Cal Ripken Jr. What's that one? The Iron Man. Which team is that? He's for the Orioles most likely. I think he played for the Orioles his whole career. Yeah. And the football. Rich. Number 12, Rich Gannon. Probably from when they won the Super Bowl in 02, I think. Of course, he had Jerry Rice 2000. to throw to. Here's 02. Um, OU. OU. From when? 2002. So this is the cover. This is the whole magazine. You can feel it. It's the entire magazine. Cool. Where how much that magazine was? Huh? I don't know. Honestly, some of these might. Is that Muhammad Ali? Yeah. Does it have a year on it? Mm -hmm. It's April. That's. I'm not sure. I don't feel like the whole. There's that Jeff, Jeff Brown, Brown again. So I'm not real sure who Jeff Brown is. I know who Jim Brown is. Oklahoma. Oh, you. So. A lot of these we're gonna have to look up to see if there's any actual value. A lot of these I know can be pretty, that is pretty valuable. Texas. That's um, Texas. Oh, here we go. This is the one that I saw in the unit. One of my opinion, top five best baseball players of all time, Ken Griffey Jr. Mm -hmm. um, cool story. His dad played for for the Mariners as well, and there was a game where they Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Jr hit back-to-back -back home runs. I'm pretty sure it's the only time a father and son hit back-to-back -back home runs in an MLB game. Pretty neat. Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Really cool. He played for the White Sox. He also, I think he's doing like the um, the commercials now for like the testosterone boost thing. Mm -hmm. And he, um, 97. he had some, he had a shoe line. We got, Baby. Does it say who that is? See, that's is that Jim Brown. I'm not sure. 100% sure who that is. Another Raiders. This is the same as that other one with Rich Gannon on it. Peter, no. I don't know. That's a personal picture. But this issue is Walter Payton's final. Oh, it's Walter Payton. Okay. Yep, that's all of those. Oh, whoa, 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 what we got right here? What is that? That's a rookie card. Uh, Jamarcus Russell rookie card. So, this probably isn't worth a whole lot. He was, this guy was one of the best uh, college quarterbacks ever. I mean, he was really good at LSU, but when he came to the NFL, he was terrible. I think this is the, the reason why, this guy is the reason why the rookies contracts got like uh, restructured. Because when he came in, he was supposed to be the big deal the next big thing but so they gave him 
a boatload of money and then he flopped. So I think after that they started kind of restructuring their contracts. All right guys, this is mostly it for the outside. Lauren and I, right, the camera got real hot and it died. But right before it did, we were going through um, these uh, storage things and we found some good stuff. Nothing to get super excited about. Lauren found a gold ring, I think. Yeah, yeah. The, the cuff or, uh, I'm not sure what that is, an earring or it's something. A ring, I think. I don't know. Some cuff links. There was another set of those. Nothing super exciting though in any of these. Um, it's a whole bunch of, um, show, show them, give me one of them. There's an entire giant drawer full of these. Um, if anybody wants these for craft projects, let me know. There's probably a hundred of them. Here you go. Back of the truck, the only other things that I didn't really get to show you guys. There was this like workout machine, a basket with some towels. Um, this right here is a big mirror. These two tables, which are really cool. There's like a Christmas tree stand and then a candle holder type thing. And there's the other the other leg thing for the um, catcher's gear. So we've got a lot of mess to clean up out here. Um, still a lot of sorting that we're gonna have to do. We have to figure out what exactly we're gonna keep for yard sales or separate for Facebook Marketplace and yada yada yada. But that was the unit, part of the unit. I'm gonna take you guys inside inside right now and show you all the good stuff. There was actually some really good things. I already showed y'all earlier, but I want to show y'all now that they work. If I can find a path to walk to the front door. Oh yeah, and the cassette tapes, there was nothing good. Actually, most of those were like dubbed or recorded or, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so part of the background noise, got the AC going and Luffy's playing some video games. But here's a box full of DVDs that we're gonna keep. There's like 10 DVDs or so. And then the rest of that is video games. They're all Xbox 360 and I think three Xbox One games. And then here's all DVDs that we're for sure gonna sell or um, or whatever. But they're, um, I went through them, made sure they were all in the cases and um, what? What is it? Rudy. Rudy, yeah. So there's those. All right, and here we go. The score of the day from the units. I already showed you all these earlier. Of course, with them being out in the heat, I wasn't sure if they were gonna work. This one right now is booting on. It takes it a second. I already got these turned on. Works just fine. Do I have it upside down? No. Nope. Oh. This one's even in an OtterBox uh, case. I haven't reset this one yet. Um, oh yeah, the reason, this one takes a, it's got a thumbprint code, but you can go over here and it's got the, um, the guest account, I guess. There it is. Works just fine. And then this one is the one I already reset and I've been kind of messing with playing with it. So here's this one up and running. The keyboard is, it's really cool. It's a Bluetooth keyboard. It connects straight to the uh, tablet. And um, it's it's not charged up. I don't have it connected, but I mean, it it works real well. Let's see, there's their there's curbside junkies. This is my brother's videos. Got another one playing on the other tablet. This is my last storage unit I bought. He's doing his. So. If you guys hadn't seen his video, go check that out. Um, the big tablet even had the box and all the um, the little books and everything. It's a Galaxy Note Pro. It's a 12.2 inch screen tablet. It's got the stylus and everything. This one we're probably gonna sell because this one tablet's gonna pay for the entire unit. Um, probably gonna put this one up for sale for $200. It's selling anywhere from 250 to like 350, but we're gonna throw it up for 200. Um, just a, a quick flip to make our money back. The other one here, this one I'm gonna keep for myself, and then this one I'm gonna give to my dad. His tablet just blew up not too long ago, so it's a good tablet. He'll be able to use that, and uh, yeah. 
finding some liquor in his, <laughs> his liquor bill. So anyway, that's gonna do it for us. Uh, got a lot of work to do. We gotta get out there and clean out that front yard. Either that or just leave it all there and just put, a, put a yard sale sign up in the front yard. It would go. <laughs> so, but we're gonna find a place to put all that stuff. I gotta get outside and clean out my storage uh, shed in the back to make room for some of that stuff. So it's just so hot. Uh, it's, it's probably gonna be 95 to 100 degrees today here in Texas, so. It's summer. But anyway, if there's anything that you guys saw in this storage unit that you would like, especially the Tennessee stuff, because I don't know what else to do with it, you guys let me know. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. What are you playing over there? Rocket League?